Robert, nice to meet you. I'm Curtis. Hey, nice to meet you. No, no, that's fine. Okay. Cool. Okay. Yeah, follow the guys. So I'm so excited. We are here at the New York Stock Exchange with the one and only Mac Hoback, who is the social media guru for the New York Stock Exchange. So quite a treat to meet you in person. Thank you. I'm so glad to have you here. So excited for the opening bell. We have an ETF, but I know ETFs might not be that exciting. But I find them really exciting. It's a really interesting financial product for young people to invest in. Especially in my world, exchange traded funds, thumbs up for sure. Very, very popular. But most of what I wanted to hear about your history is how you ended up here. Yeah, absolutely. So there's actually a parent company called Intercontinental Exchange. They're based in Atlanta, and so that's the company I work for. About three years ago, I moved here to New York to handle all the social media for the New York Stock Exchange. And one thing that we really wanted to do was we wanted to demystify what happens here. So we really wanted to pull back the curtain, and we wanted to show what goes on here on a day-to-day -day basis. So whether it's an ETF ringing the bell, whether it's an IPO, or whether it's just any complex financial terminology. We want to break it down and just make it accessible for anybody. I love that. You know, that is sort of the trend now. Everybody has access to the financial markets, regardless of what walk of life you come from. So this is a big deal because the last time I came here, which was for CNBC, it was a very different experience. I think they were not quite as social media friendly as they are now. In fact, we're going to share with you the video that was playing or looping before we actually walked in and met. That was oh, the social awesome. media one, the tag us, mm -hmm. yeah, it's, it's yeah. tag us and everything. So that really sort of um, gives you an idea of what's coming, not only in the real world, but certainly in the financial world, which I'm excited to see. Yeah, I'm so glad that you guys saw it and I'm so glad that you know to tag us. That was really our biggest thing. We wanted to make sure that people have their phones out, are taking pictures, and are excited to be here and showing the social media world that accepts us. I have a feeling you have a lot to do with that because I, I feel like it has Matt written all over it. <laughs> it. It was definitely, it's not just me, but it was definitely something I pushed for to make sure that all these amazing people that come in here, because we have, uh, you know, guests that come to the bell, but we also want to make sure that we have celebrities and CEOs and whoever else it might be coming in to tag us and post us because they're the ones with the millions of followers and so that's Absolutely. amazing exposure for us. Absolutely, I love it. And, and just so you know, if you don't know already, actually, Matt and I are good friends on Twitter. In fact, I have been tagging him, tweeting him at the New York Stock Exchange, which you can do as well. And this is actually, he's the brainchild behind the handle of New York Stock Exchange. Of course, you know, tweeting him directly is always a good thing too, but you have options. <laughs> Yeah. If you ever if you ever respond to the New York Stock Exchange or M Coba, odds are I'm the one replying. Yeah, I love it. I love it. So this is really exciting. I'm really grateful to Matt inviting us here and getting this experience because a lot of times you don't know the person behind the brand and now you need to be. So we recently redesigned the bell podium. The bell used to be behind the podium so you couldn't see it. We brought it out and then we also opened up the space underneath so now we have another podium underneath. We exposed some of this beautiful marble and it just becomes a more immersive, exciting experience for anyone who's ringing the bell. You know, it's interesting because this is much smaller than I expected and I would love to see your feedback too because when you watch it on TV, it does seem much more massive but it's, it's certainly very impressive. It's just small. I'm smaller but very impressive. How <laughs> many? We get that a lot. More talks. Joining us now is Winnie Sun, founder of Sun Group Wealth Partners. Winnie, it's great to have you with us. Oh, so nice to be here, Kristen. What does this mean for the markets, and how much more does this escalate the trade war? Well, it certainly is a big deal, and it, but you know, this is sort of a natural transition. We are overdue for pullbacks. So, you know, this is something that we are talking to our clients about actively, about what to do, what to expect. But in many ways, we think of this as sort of a, a temporary situation. In the long term, if you're invested long term, you're gonna be okay. So right when you walk in, there's a super cool video that talks about tagging the New York Stock Exchange and, you know, make sure you follow them and get your selfie cameras out because you're all about social. And I'm like, 
that has Matt written all over it. I mean, <laughs> that was your brain. It, it, I was. I wanted to make sure that all the cool people that are coming in this building know to tag us because it's not. I don't think it's obvious that we're going to be on social media and that we're so active and that we want people to be posting about us. I love that because my first one of my first times here at the New York Stock Exchange was for CNBC, and I definitely didn't feel that it was very social friendly back then. And in fact, I think it was even hard to bring someone with a camera in. <laughs> Yeah. So this is the room you go to before you actually get to ring the bell for the morning, which is really awesome because this room actually reminds me of the room I got married in. But yeah, it's here in the New York Stock Exchange building. It's quite impressive. And um, we recently renovated this space to kind of restore it to make it look like what it used to look like in 1903. You can see here we're in the middle of an archway and then there's another archway over there. At some point we put walls between them. So we took out the wall, made it one big room. Uh, we had the skylight was covered, so we decided to add some lighting above it so that you can really appreciate the beauty of it. Oh, so this is added light. Yeah. yeah. Here. Oh, so even if it's raining, brilliant. even if it's cloudy, it's still bright and beautiful in this room. How smart. So you can have big presentations here. But it's nice if you are a company that's not based in New York or you don't have a New York footprint. Um, but you're coming here and you want a room or you want a space and you're a listed client, you just come here and let us know what you need. So you have to be listed. You have to be listed to be able to rent this space. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what, if you're listed and you're thinking about throwing a really awesome party, this seems like a pretty good option. <laughs> Okay, this doesn't happen every day when you're getting a tour of the New York Stock Exchange. Pretty awesome. Yeah. So of course we had to come here because it's the 227th birthday of the New York Stock Exchange tomorrow. So we're celebrating. We're celebrating. Yeah, of course. Happy birthday to the New York Happy Stock Exchange. Happy birthday to the New York this Stock is, Exchange. This is the founding document right here. And this, this is the founding. Four stock brokers got together, decided to trade in an orderly fashion, and this is the document that laid the foundation for the New York Stock Exchange. Very cool. So my question is, of course, how many of these 24 stockbrokers on this piece of paper are women? <laughs> Probably not too many yet. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm guessing. <laughs> Be a safe guy. Because it's invite only. You literally can't get in here unless someone invites you. But we have a full kitchen here, so anytime anyone wants to you know, have breakfast, lunch, or dinner here, how just elegant. let the staff know. <laughs> like the Batman door. Really even sound dance smells. We've got some like original menus from like the 30s and stuff. So this was always the like dinner club. Okay. So the traders would come up here. This is so cool. I'm like full on geeking out right now. <laughs> some people know that some people don't. So I'll just say. Um, see that statue right there, George Washington. Mm -hmm. So the reason that's there, that's where he was inaugurated as the first president of the United States. So there's a lot of history right on this corner. Oh, that's where he was inaugurated, right yep, there? Yep, that is that's right. Oh. On the steps of the Thank you, cool. thank yeah. you for everything. Oh. You Love coming? meeting you yeah. in person. Thank yeah. you very much. Nice meeting you. Thank you. Uh, we'll yeah. keep in contact. Yeah, definitely.